What happens when you buy second-hand RAM from CEX? Well, this is kind of what happens. I ordered uh, two sticks of four gigabyte DDR3 RAM. I ordered five sticks of two gigabyte DDR3 RAM here, and then five sticks of DDR2 RAM one gigabyte sticks here. They only let you order a maximum of five sticks of one product. And when you get there, they get all of these things and they were all in sort of plastic CD cases like this. They then went through and scanned every single product as they were selling them to me so that they could scan them off their system. And these ones are, you know, completely stuck together but it looks like the stickers do peel off fairly well. And then after they'd scanned them all, I paid, I paid three pounds in total for all of this, and that's 23 gigabytes. So really good value for money. 10 pence each for these is kind of ridiculous, kind of nothing. Um, and once they'd done all that, they then put them in this bag and handed them to me. So. There are no anti-static bags involved, so whether these work or not, we'll just have to find out. And let's do that in this video. So, I'll spend however long it takes to peel these stickers. And then just quickly show you what we've got. We've got SK Hynix or Hynix sticks there. We've got a Kingston. A Hynix again, or Hynix, I don't know how to say that. Samsung, Hynix again, so those two look like they match. Samsung here, another matching pair. And then in terms of the DDR2 RAM, we've got two sticks of Samsung. Look like they're from different uh, factories, perhaps. We've got an Elpida, an Elixir, and another Hynix, or Hynix. Um, so yeah, I'll just take these stickers off and then we'll get a system together and start seeing if they actually work. I mean, this obviously won't work with this sticker on because it's covering the contacts. So say you get a five year warranty. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work, whether you're supposed to take them back with these stickers on or whether they just scan these um, barcodes. But five year warranty on a second hand computer product is kind of crazy. But yeah, that's a recent thing that CX have introduced. So for speed, I am going to be starting by using this system and simply checking that it, the RAM works and I'll be checking one by one to make sure that it actually posts. Um, so let's start with the first stick and then we can put them in post or fail if we have any problems. And yeah, we've got the system coming up and that stick of RAM is working. So let's move on to the next stick of RAM. And I'll need to change the system uh, halfway through to switch over to the DDR2 system. And yeah, that one's posted. Once I've done this, my plan is to put them in a system and leave um, mem test running so that I actually know that these uh, memory sticks are good. Yep, that one's good.
So this one, I'm not getting anything on the screen. And I'm having to hold the power button to switch it off. So that's a try again, perhaps. Let's just give that one more go. Okay, it's posted that time. It's possible if there's, you know, been stickers on these that the contacts aren't going to be as clean as they should be. Okay, another one that's posted. Still on DDR3 memory. Yep, that one's posted. also posted. So let's move on to checking the DDR2 RAM. Just as an example of the condition of the memory stick, you should be able to see here that the contacts on this are in quite poor condition and could definitely do with cleaning. Okay, so this is my quad-core Q6600 system uh, that takes DDR2 RAM. And let's just start by putting some memory in. So let's switch power supply and switch this on and see if this DDR2 memory posts. Hmm, don't seem to be getting anything from this one. Let's have a look at the connections. Looks clean enough. Try again. Just check it doesn't need to be in the other RAM slot first, um, which will make it more difficult because the heatsink fan is in the way. It's not working. Let's um. I'll just try the memory that was working in this system just to confirm that it's working. Okay, so that is working. Let me try this one more time. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like we've got our first fail. So that can go in the fail pile. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so that one's working. That one's working. That one's working. And now for the final one, which looks in pretty poor condition. And that one's working. So overall we have one stick that has failed and the rest are working. Now all that's left for me is to actually run a mem test on these to do a full test of the memory to see if it's working properly and take it from there. So I'll go off and run mem test on all this memory and then let you know the results on a screen to follow and if you've enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe leave a comment click the like button and look out for some more videos coming soon the eight gigabytes of ram the two sticks of four gigabytes have passed the mem test the four gigabytes of ddr2 ram has passed the mem test and finally the four sticks of DDR3 2GB RAM has also passed the MEN test. So that's great. There's only one stick of memory that I haven't run through MEM test. Um, but for speed, I'll just say this has been a relatively successful uh, result with the only problem being one stick of RAM that failed and as it only cost 10 pence, I'm not too concerned. Thanks for watching, bye.